Anticipation is a very good way of finding setups where you can get a very low risk entry and where you can put your stops very closely. So in order to do anticipation, you also need to have a larger setup idea. And the larger setup idea might be to look for a short term trades of three to five days. And that is exactly what I look for. Or the larger setup idea might be to buy out of a large basis consolidation, in which case you'll be looking for basis of two, three, six months kind of a thing. So depending on whatever is your time frame, which you decide as a trading time frame or what kind of setups you're looking for. If you're looking for a larger consolidation of three to six months, then it will allow you to hold the stock for a multiple weeks or months because uh, larger consolidation breakouts tends to run for a larger period of a longer period of time. If you're looking for short term kind of a setups like money, then you're looking for short term consolidation. Short term consolidations are typically consolidations of less than 10 to 12 days. And uh, ideally, these are like in a stocks which are already established some sort of a momentum. And then you look for a consolidation, three to five days consolidation or eight, seven, nine. Typically consolidations, the shorter they are, like you know, they will have three to five days moves of eight to 20%. So that is the kind of thing. So every day I do my work on consolidation, uh, work on finding these kind of anticipation setups. And uh, last night I did this work and I have a couple of ideas for today. And this will give you some idea as to what I look for in a good anticipation setup. So here, let's go to TC2000 and look at my list of some ideas which I generated last night for anticipation. So if you look at this particular thing, what I am looking for is I'm looking for a stock like this, which already has a first leg. And now, one, two, three, four, five, six days, it has gone sideways and it's likely to break out now. Uh, so, pure storage had this big move and now just three days of sideways. So, that's another setup which I'm monitoring. And then here again. So, this is the common thing which I look for where there is a first leg and typically the first leg should be 15 to 20 percent. Because if the first leg is 15 to 20 percent, then the second leg likely to be of good magnitude. If this first leg is just like in a 5-6%, then you're not going to get much out of that setup. So this is an ideal kind of a setup. Uh, APLD is the kind of ideal setup which I look for, in which you had a very aggressive breakout. And after the aggressive breakout, the stock has gone sideways for just uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 days. If this consolidation becomes too long, 10, 20 days, then you need a high volume breakout to work. If this consolidation is shallow like it is in terms of number of days and also like the stock never gave up any of these gains, this indicates that there is a very strong buyer here. And in that case, uh, plus this stock has some sort of a catalyst here and it made a very high volume breakout. It's like 79 million shares were traded. So in that particular kind of a stock, uh, the likelihood of a breakout working are extremely high because everybody who is in a short term trading will be watching some, some thing like this. So as soon as it start breaking out or it goes up a little bit in the morning, it's best to get in without waiting for a volume confirmation, without waiting too much for a price confirmation. Because you know, you look at every single person who's trading this kind of method is going to get in as soon as breakouts become visible. So if you can enter before they enter, you will get a good risk reward. Similarly, this Adobe, like see the first leg is good, 20% uh, leg, and now it has gone sideways for two to three days, basically. So similarly, Vertiv, then CRVS, this is another one. In this case, like you know, there was the first leg, uh, big leg here, just the prior leg, which is 200%, so it's gone sideways, it's a lower price stocks. And when the stocks break out, they can make big moves. And then I have another one, which is Live Core. So as you can see here, first leg. So what do I look for in a good breakout? I look for a first leg has to be explosive, or the leg prior to this consolidation has to be explosive. And explosive means it should be 20% plus, 15, 20% plus minimum. If it is a high price stocks, I want it to be up 20, $25, so that when it breaks out, it is going to make 20, $25 more. And when it is basing, what you want to see is lower volume. Uh, you want to see series of narrow range days or like volatility decreasing. 
uh, volatility compression, if you are using something like Bollinger Band, then the Bollinger Bands will be squeezing. Uh, so because Bollinger Band squeeze is just a volatility compression pattern. And then the it should not have breakdowns in that consolidation. And it should have a very narrow range day or negative day prior to the breakout day. The ideal candidates are one which are ready to break out are the one which have very low volume uh, the day before breakout and has very low price percent change or uh, net change should be very low. So one of the ways in which you can look for like in a prioritizing your list is also to like in a, just put in a indicator called uh, this is like net change which is looking for how much it was up or down. Uh, and the lower the one, the better it is, because if it is very low, uh, then this is up or down 0.35%, or this is up or down less than 1.67%. If you get a situation where it is up or down less than 0.5%, that's the ideal kind of a situation. In that case, you can get like in a very good uh, kind of a risk reward. So in this case of Adobe, if you see, it's up or down less than 0.30%. Uh, so if it breaks out and if you know Adobe, Adobe is a stock which when it breaks out, it makes a moves of 10 to 12 dollars on the breakout day itself. So this is the kind of a setup which allows you to enter with a low risk and make money from those setups. So if you want to look at anticipation, look for first leg, look for consolidation, look for consolidation of less than 10 days if you're a short term trader. If you're a longer term trader, look for longer term consolidation and look for the last day before the buy as one which is very narrow range day or the net change should be as small as possible.